All right, so back to your map problem. You have a crusty old map to a buried time capsule that you want to go dig up. But the world has changed a lot since that map was created. You are able to locate a landmark that is on the map and still there today. How can you figure out the exact location of the time capsule? Well, since a map is just a scale diagram of the world, you could use the scale on the map to figure out the distance in real life, and then arm yourself with a really long tape measure or a GPS-enabled device, and just walk that far away from the landmark in a straight line and start digging. But wait, this scale isn't like the one from the dog example. This scale has units attached to it that we need to pay attention to. We need to do a little bit of work. We take out our trusty ruler and measure the line next to the scale, which turns out to be 2.5 centimeters. So, 200 meters in real life is 2.5 centimeters on this map. We also need to measure the distance from the bridge to the time capsule. Using our ruler again, we get 6 centimeters. So now we know the scale of the map is 200 meters to 2.5 centimeters. And we need to figure out how long 6 centimeters on the map is in real life. We can set this up similarly to the dog question from the last video. 200 meters over 2.5 centimeters equals x meters over 6 centimeters. We want to get x by itself. To do this, we multiply both sides by 6. 200 divided by 2.5 is equal to 80. And then 80 times 6 is 480. So, the distance in real life is 480 meters. So, now you are able to walk exactly 480 meters north of that bridge, dig around for a while, and eventually find the time capsule. Congratulations!